Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Remnant from the Ashes here at Marauder, and today we're just going to pick right back up where we left off in the previous episode, heading into the desert here after traveling through... Oh, this is like sort of one of the more open areas we've seen in the game so far. Looks very cool, very dynamic. I'm assuming this is a world that's been shattered by the arrival of the Root and the loss of its guardian. Based on the lore we picked up in the previous episode, we learned um, that basically... Every world had guardians who protected it from the root, yet if the root were able to defeat it, then they were able to become stronger within that world, ultimately creating like a devourer, which would even further the damage and sort of like scorched earth uh, burning of those worlds. So, <clears throat> a lot of lore there. Oh shit, are these dudes strong? They look cool though. They look super cool, honestly. All right. I don't want to shoot though. Now what? No one cares that he's dead. <clears throat> oh, that dude seems strong. He's like a mage or some shit. Oh my god, that guy's got elephant tusks. Oh, these are like the first enemies that my shoddy can't just like one shot. Holy hell, dude. We've approached this the wrong way. How did he die? Oh, maybe the root got him? That root gun automatically shoots root, root dust. Help. Was that me or him? <clears throat> oh, fuck. <clears throat> fuck. We aren't going to survive this. Yeah, that's fair. All right, we got to be more careful in this world. These are big boys. Much different enemies, too, which I'm super into. I'm curious, though. I don't think they're affected by root. I think they might just be, like, hostile inhabitants of the planet, which I guess we had on Earth. We dealt with, like, human outlaws, but I like that now we've taken sort of, like, another worldly... <clears throat> Still humanoid, obviously. All right. I got to adapt... And I got to figure out what my new weapon does. I do think I got to be a little more careful to do like some one-on-one -on -one battle. And I also might want to use my reliable pistol just to, to, till I'm sure of like kind of what okay, things do. Okay, this is it. Come on. All right, two down. Can I lure that guy with a shot? I'm not sure how the aggro works. Like, does that guy sort of tell his whole crew what's up? Okay. Now, does he tell everybody, yo, go fuck this dude up? All right, that's him dead. That was a much smarter way to approach Sherry Murray. You got guns, bruh. You don't have to get so damn close. <coughs> All right, there's some ammo to be had. I still want to be careful that we're not gonna go in and aggro like a whole village at once. So I'm gonna. What in the world is in front of my face? <coughs> I do think we're due for a little bit of a damage upgrade. It would seem. I'm also curious how melee goes with those guys. Okay. So this is supposed to feel kind of like a tribal space, which is is very cool feeling. I was about to say, I'd, I'd assume there's nobody up here based on nobody getting aggroed. I like that even the chest... I'm pretty relieved at the change of world here. <clears throat> I hope they keep expanding the game, even when it's over. Like, the context, I don't know how it'll end, obviously, but... It seems pretty pretty well built for DLC, just adding like new worlds and dimensions. <coughs> I 
Who's mad at me right now? You? Who all is growling at me? Now, is it when I hit RB now that will work? Ah, that's how it works. That's my nades. Let's go. Let's actually go. That's very cool. Ooh, that was rough. All right, so now we have a little bit of an understanding of how my new gun works. All right, what's what here? <clears throat> I just want to make sure we're exploring every inch. <coughs> wonder if the fire hurts me. It creates a burning stack. Can you roll it out? Yes, you can. Stop, drop, and roll, kids. Lyrics on fire like stop, drop, roll. Recorded a rap with my friends once. And uh, that was a lyric to one of my verses. So, trademark. Good luck taking that piece of intellectual property. That gold mine. Mm -mm. <coughs> Who said that? Oh boy. I do like their respect for iframes. Goodness, they can kill you in a hurry. I like these enemies. Man, they're they're cool. I'm not trying to get too excited about them here, but now they're starting to speak my language. I didn't feel ganked. I felt like it was just a nice challenge. I'm a happy boy. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Where are you, tribal gents? I've learned my lesson to fight you as individuals. Where's that sound coming from? I've only killed one, so that's not good. Hello? Hello? dead spot on my controller. Fuck. Wish my, my, like a functioning sniper with a scope. This is the dead spot on the controller I was trying to tell you all about. I'm going to be okay when I can stop and heal, but I'm not sure what radiation will do. It's over. That was a lot thrown at me all at once right there. Hmm. Okay. Is that a boss fight? Looks like we found a new direction. Always gotta 
<coughs> Tap into these. It's not a boss fight. Boss fights usually have like a fog. This is like a, usually like an, a branching path. Thermal geode, the fire that burned the world could not burn everything. What's left is strength, power, and death. Yep, there's our checkpoint. I don't think I want to go down the branching path just yet. Okay. Should I do that branching path? I don't know which way to go. I'm going to do it. Because I can always clear out this whole area, make it all the way to another checkpoint, and then I can kind of decide, like, what I want to do from there. <coughs> okay. How aren't you dead? I couldn't see the rest of his health bar from around the corner. Fucking Christ! Two! Yikes! No, 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 no! Yeah, this is. That was bad. I got ganked there. Hard. Man, this area is tough. I mean, if not, just because, like, something can come around the corner and fuck you right up. Okay. So, my thought process here. <coughs> I'm standing here, so let's go ahead and do the side path. And we'll push on the main path later. How do you all feel about that? Great. Alright, side path. <clears throat> what in the world? Hopefully I'm the newie. Reach the decontamination chamber and I have the Citadel's Curse. <coughs> the Purge Hall. What in the fuck is happening? Great. More bad news. Trouble. All right, well that thing killed me instantly. One hit kills? What is going on, y'all? <laughs> I'm so confused about what's happening in this game, but now I gotta know. It seems like maybe you get like a one hit kill curse or something. Do I have to do this fucking cutscene every time though? Why am I dying? This ain't good. I do not understand what's happening. Do you heal me? Do I have to like go a certain pace? I don't know what's going on. Is it about being seen? Like they know I'm here and so they're slowly killing me. Can any of these stations heal me or recharge me? Can you neutralize my death? I'm trying to just go as fast as I can. Oh, this looks like a decontamination room, right? No. Who's next? Is it healing me? <clears throat> Dude, I've never been more confused in a video game. This seems bad.
cool. Dude, I, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> no clue. I'm gonna Google it. Citadel Curse. Remnant. What does that mean? Remnant from the Ashes. The Citadel Curse. How to clear Citadel Curse. The curse itself is very powerful, but it has a single weak point that you must exploit. You'll receive health per... Oh, health per kill while you're under the curse. The curse itself will only cleanse from your body once you've completed the dungeon. So it's like a speed, run through, and kill things situation. <coughs> Which is sort of what we suspected. I do think I need to drop this weapon <coughs> in favor of one that shoots faster. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Kills do indeed keep you going. Good gracious. Come on. Okay. Oh shit, you're still alive. Okay. Need more enemies. Their aim is very bad. Okay. So the key is keep running fast enough to see enemies. How much health are we getting back? Like a quarter, it seems like, per kill? We're pretty close to understanding the mechanics. And also, is the room or the map layout re rolling itself? <laughs> to take damage is not helpful, that's for sure. Ooh, that was rough. <coughs> How big is the dungeon? I have no idea how big it is. They like, you need to keep the enemies coming because otherwise you won't make it. I, I missed, I missed him. Oh, that was a, a crucial miss over the shoulder. Bye. I feel like I've been killing at a reasonable pace. I'm surprised my health is lagging behind that feeling. But, what are you gonna do? Let's see if you ask me, those are fishing kills. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, I didn't get to use them to get me as far as I would have liked. Ooh, that was rough. <coughs> this is the part where I could cut off some time. Don't hurt me. <sighs> Fall damage there is outrageous. Come on, dude. Alright, that's our first heal. I'm okay with that. Questionable reload speed. 
Oh, we got three heals left. We use one now. Fucking AoE. <laughs> Fucking Christ! Now we have one heal left. Things took a bad turn there. The end! Was that the end? Or did I do a fucking circle again? Tell me I didn't just do a circle again. Nice. That's cool, man. What did I get? A Wastelander Flail. Is that a new melee weapon? Let's go. A flail with a large skull striking a large skull striking head connected to the chain. It's an unorthodox weapon meant to convert momentum into destruction. It converts a slow start up into a powerful swing uh, and smashes especially when attacks are charged. I did not know you could charge your melee. Oh. Gotta use that for a little bit. Dude. <laughs> I'm so into it. <coughs> Alright, what we'll do is we'll go back to Ward 13. Just to rest up and get some stuff. And uh, I'll do that while you guys are gone. And we'll come back and we'll push our way through this desert in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please go ahead and hit the like button. I uh, hope you've had some success with your dungeons. Let me know how your dungeons have been if you found those. And if you have, uh, were they similar? Does that change? How did you like the curses? I'd like to hear about that in the comments. And if you want to see more, please hit subscribe. We'll have new episodes every single day. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you again next time.